All right, this is Theo from Kibobat again, going over some of the keyboard features of our A6 Sinoscape ultrasound machine. Uh, we had some other videos on the machine on some of the functions, capabilities, and the benefits of this machine. We're just going to go over the keyboard here really quick. So just to start off, your basic functions are pretty laid out for the average user. Uh, up here we have an exam setting. So you press that, depending on which probe you have selected, you can pick what type of exam you're doing. This specific model right now has uh, human software available, so all the calculation packages that are on here now are in regards to OB or for measurements. Uh, if you get this with the veterinary version, obviously the calculation package changes, so just something to keep in mind. So we'll just set, select any random one, um, and then it comes up. Next button off the top of the line, which we'll be using pretty often, patient. So here I just put test number, made up a birthday. Um, but you can adjust everything from patient ID, number, height, weight, age, um, clinic name, all that kind of stuff. So it pretty much depends on what you want uh, to do. Depends how uh, in-depth you are. Next very popular button is the comment button. Um, this button, when you press it, you get a cursor. Uh, you then go ahead, set that cursor where you like, set it, and that's where it'll stay until you unfreeze it to the next image. So that's a button that pretty much everybody uses pretty often. Um, file button right here. This button is where you will be saving, storing, and editing uh, all your cases and studies. Um, in this case, you can either save it directly to the computer, or what's really popular by most people is they save it straight to a USB drive. This way you don't have to do anything after you're done except remove the USB, go to another computer, and either send or save or follow up with the images. Um, there's options to uh, create a new directory, so if you have a certain day for a test, you can create that, or a, a site, and you can have that all under one file. And then you can go ahead and copy that uh, to a USB drive if you have it hooked up. We don't have USB in here, but that would come up as a separate drive. So just like your basic desktop computer, uh, where you click and drag and copy, or you paste, you can put reports back in here as well. And then you can see how much memory you have, delete tests, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so that's another button that a lot of people use. Uh, clipboard. This, we only have one saved right now, but if you have multiple images, it allows you to scroll through your different images that you have stored for that specific test. So if you're not sure, you want to check something, um, that's a good way to look at what images you have done. Um, the THI button is uh, for tissue harmonics. So that's something that not everybody will be using a lot. Um, it just adjusts uh, the settings on the machine and uh, that's something that not everybody really messes with but it's good to know that it's there just in case you need it and then finally is a frequency button um, so that changes the number up here the lower the frequency the deeper you can penetrate into the tissue but the less clear the quality and resolution of the image the higher the frequency the sharper the more detail but you can't go as deep so it all depends on what you're looking at specifically for that frequency button uh, obviously we have a keyboard, that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, on this side over here we have the TGCs. So what that allows you to do, each one of these allows you to adjust the gain on the screen. So uh, if you have one part that's really low or dark, or if you're going to very dense tissue in one spot or the other, you can adjust those uh, and it gives you a line bar here to show. Usually people have it kind of lined up in the middle or slightly off center. Um, overall gain is right here. You can just increase that or decrease that. That's something that each user will be using to their own um, taste, I guess you could say. On this side we have our different screens. So B mode is the standard mode that you see. You can have split screen. Uh, so if you hit the B slash B, you get one screen. You hit another one, save, and then you get another one and you can have them side by side. So if you're comparing a cyst maybe prior to aspiration or uh, depending on the type of exam you're doing, um, that's a good feature to have. Um, you can also have a B mode and M mode screen. So you can have your regular image as well as a 2D screen. So if you're measuring a heartbeat, for example, that's pretty much the best uh, use of that screen. Um, another one is a four-way screen. If you're comparing something that's sometimes popular, probably won't use that too much. And then there's the ability to do up, down, and left to right. So depending on the type of positioning you're in or if you're in a tricky spot, sometimes you have to put the machine or operate in a way where you might want to flip the orientation. So whether that be upside down or left to right, that's a user preference. 
most people usually don't touch those but it is available if you need it. Um, the rest of the buttons are also pretty self-explanatory. We have save button so that's how you save images to your USB or your computer. The report page um, once again like I said this is for human software so it comes up under all the human uh, settings but if you have it for veterinary use you can have it for all the different types of animals and that is just your different calculations primarily if it's animals OB, humans, cardiac, you can have small parts, it all depends on what you want to save. Let's get out of that. Um, and then you have your basic user function keys. So uh, distance is another popular one that's kind of self-explanatory. You hit the button, set one point, go to the next, and you can continue doing that indefinitely. And then all your measurements come up on the side, so that's good to know. Area button is if you're measuring something a little more in detail. You just draw your circle or your square or whatever the case is that you're trying to measure, and you get your area. Um, the calc package comes up specifically if you're doing those OB cases, like I mentioned, that's how you get the report to be generated. Um, another thing some people use is the body markers. That varies for the different tests. Once again, this is all human software, so you get all the human organs, but that changes again with the animals. And then you get an exit key and a freeze key to save. So uh, while this is one of our better machines that we have, the user keys and functions are pretty straightforward, and uh, it's a great machine to use.